Kelvin, after last week, that was a, a way to answer the critics. Yeah, it was a really good performance all round. Uh, the gaffer asked for a reaction, basically, and that's what we had to do. We started the game early, and this league, it shows that if you get the first goal, it gives you a, a real boost, and to get the second one before half-time gives us a bit of confidence, and then the second half to get the early goal. Um, the only, obviously, bad point was Rico getting sent off, but apart from that, it was a great performance. And to score four goals at home, keep a clean sheet as well, it gives you that confidence, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every game's tough in this league, no matter home or away. Um, I think a home form has been reasonably good this season compared to last season when I was here anyway. Um, but to score four goals, all good goals, um, as real confidence going forward. Could have had more as well, because there was another couple of chances, a penalty claim and things as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I think when Rico got sent off, it kind of took the wind out of our it is so, um, but I mean, before that, I thought we could have went what five or five or six to be honest, the way the game was going. Um, but obviously, he gets sent off, so we had to sit in, and the most important thing was a clean sheet. So things boiled over at that point, didn't they? Uh, it went. I don't usually get involved in that kind of thing, but I think Rico felt he got an elbow or a, a proper slap across the face, so um, he reacted, and because he was on a yellow card, you know, I think he wouldn't have got sent off if he wasn't on a yellow card. So, but he learned from that. He knows he's just just about redness. So that's all. It's about consistency, isn't it? I mean, put in performances like that. We know that Queen's can put in performances like that, but it's doing it 90 yeah. minutes on a regular basis. Yeah, definitely. It's That's probably been our biggest fault this season because we've had great performances. We've had, not like last week, this was a real tester. Um, so I think that going forward, the consistency is key. We're coming into Christmas time now, lots of games, and uh, um, as long as we can be consistent and sometimes you're not going to get results you want try and get points try and get try and get uh, home wins then if we can keep doing that we're going to keep climbing up the table so I was saying to, to the gaffer there as well you know you have beaten a side comfortably beaten a side yeah. there were 8 points ahead of you sitting joint second so you know that's yeah. 5 points you've cut that gap to 5 points with more than half the season to go yeah um, look everyone can beat everyone in this league it's, it's showing it's you get beat 5-1 one week and then you go and win 4-0 the next week so it's it's chaotic but um, as long as we can concentrate on ourselves try and become more consistent and I believe in the group that we'll go and we can go as far as we can to be honest it's, it's up to us it's not up to anyone else You're back in the side are you pleased with your own performance today? Yeah it's, I've, to be honest I've been quite frustrated with my performances this year I've kind of had niggles with my, both my ankles so it's been a bit frustrating but obviously you need to bide your time and when you get your chance you take it and Obviously, that's what we've done today. I, obviously, I set the first goal up with the corner, but as long as the team's winning games and if I'm a part of that, that's fine. It was great goals today, weren't they? Yeah. The great deliveries from was, yourself, from Lewis, and then yeah. great contributions from, from Rudy and obviously the headers yeah. as well from Gavin that's, and that, George. That's what we need. and that's We know we've got that in terms of Gib, young Gibbles came in and he's, he's gave us so much energy and deliveries into the box that we didn't have before. Um, and if the strikers can score goals, then... We're going to win games, so. We break from the league next week. Scottish yeah. Cup tie away to Morton. Hard, it's a hard game, a uh, hard place to go. Obviously, in the championship last year, we knew that. Um, they're on good form as well, so it's a it's a um, break from the league. So it's something to go and take it to them and see what happens. It is going to be tough. They've they've had a good start to yeah. the season, haven't they? Uh, it's, especially this time of year, the the pitch isn't maybe as good as it is at the start and. They they know what they are. They they play long balls and they get in right in about you. So, but we look. We've it's the same as this league as well. So we're used to that. And if we can take confidence from this week, then there's no reason why we can't go in and get a result there. So that's a one-off game as well. Yeah, exactly. It's you never know what can happen. But look, we we're just as good as I believe any championship team. I don't think there's much difference between the championship and league one. But we are where we are. So we just need to keep grinding out results.